to stroke my whiskers when I think, like this. <laughs> but the other day, I tried something different. I scritched my ears instead. <laughs> and you know what? It worked so well, I had three new ideas all at once. Sometimes it's good to do old things in a new way. That's what the Gibble Goose girls found out. It all started one day when Pearl saw the cutest little tadpole. We are the Gibble Goose girls! Carl, Amber, Jade, and Pearl! Four of us, there's no more! One, two, three, four! One, two, three, four! Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh what's that? Where's Pearl going? <laughs> Hey, you get away from him, fishy. Hey, Pearl, come on. What did you see in the pond? The cutest little tadpole. A tadpole? What's a tadpole? It's a baby frog, of course. Oh, right. I knew that. Come on, let's go. We are the Gibble Goose Girls. Carl, Amber, Jade, and Pearl. that little tadpole again. <sighs> Good morning, Amber. Good morning, Jade. Good morning, Coral. Good morning, Amber. Good morning, Pearl. Pearl? Where's Pearl? Maybe she went to the pond to check on that tadpole she saw yesterday. Pearl. Head out of the water, Pearl. It's such a beautiful day. Time for our morning walk. Oh, um, I think I'd better stay here and watch the tadpoles. Tadpoles? There's more than one? Yeah, there's a whole bunch. They're so cute, but that big fish might come back. But, Pearl, it's morning. We always go for a walk in the morning. You guys go on without me. I'll catch up with you later. Go for our morning walk without Pearl? But, but how? We better hop sick. Hmm. Can we go on a walk without Pearl? It wouldn't be as much fun. Pearl, what do you think? Pearl's not here. Should we go on a walk without Pearl? It might be an adventure. Pearl, what do you think? Pearl's not here. Oh. Hmm. Okay, what's the problem? We want to go on our morning walk, but Pearl doesn't want to come. Well, you could just keep walking. You just walked all the way here without her. That wasn't a real Gibble Goose Girls morning walk. Oh. Well, what's a real Gibble Goose Girls morning walk? First we line up, then we raise our tails in the air. Then we each lift one leg. And then we sing. I don't hear any singing. We can't start without Pearl. She's the leader. Can't another Gibble Goose Girl lead? Coral? I can't lead. I'm number two. And I'm the best number three. Don't look at me. I'm always four. Hmm. Maybe you could all lead. Uh-uh. That won't work. Then there'd be no one to follow. We're flutterific followers. We just need a leader. Thumpika! That's it! You need a new leader. Oh, 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 oh. Pick me! Pick me! Oh, 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 oh. Mouse? As our leader? Oh, come on. It'll be so fluttery fun. Do you really think you can do it, Mouse? Sure. I love to try new things, and I love to walk, and I love to sing, and most of all, I love to lead. Follow yeah! me. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to see what Pearl's doing. I'm just a cute little gibble goose girl. <laughs> Whoa. This isn't the way Pearl leads. Mouse, wait! We love your song, but we have a special morning song we sing. And your zigzagging is a little hard to follow. Here, let us show you what to do. First, we all line up behind Pearl, the leader. Mouse, that's you. You're the leader now. Then we sing our song. Oh, oh. that's right. 
You have to start, Mouse. You sing, we are the Gibble Goose Girls. Ahem. We are the Gibble Goose Girls. Now we say our names. Uh-huh. Coral, Amber, Jane, and Mouse. Four of us, there's no more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think I got it. Follow me. We are the Gibble Goose Girls. take smaller steps so we don't run over our new leader. We are the Gibble Goose Girls. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. 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 Mouse, what's the matter? I almost went into the water. But Mouse, we always end our walk by hopping into the water for a swim dance. A swim dance? In the water? Oh, my quivering whiskers. You know I don't like to get wet. Oh. Right. If only Pearl were here, she'd know how to solve this problem. Sorry. I know I'm not the best Gibble Goose Girl leader. Sure you are, Mouse. Not to worry. We'll figure this out. We're great figure outers. What we need is a hop thing. How can Mouse join our dance? He can ride on a pondy floater. Dancing on a pondy floater might be tippy. He can hold on to a lily pad. But I don't like to get wet. I know. We can do our dance on land. Good idea. A land dance. Aren't they just so cute and sweet? At first, I just wanted to be sure a big fish didn't get them. But they're so smart. I taught them the Gibble Goose Girl swim dance. You did? Uh-huh. Underwater. Watch. First, we all get in a circle and swim. I mean, run. Then we all go to the middle and lift up our wings. Uh, arms. Then we swim, uh, run, back to the circle and twirl around. Absolutely carrot-tastic, especially that last flip. That was the tadpole's idea. Isn't it feather tabulous? I wish my sisters could see it. Well, why don't you go and get them? I want to, but I can't leave the tadpoles. There are still big fish around here. I see what you mean. You stay here, then. I'll be right back. Mouse, you are one flutterific land dancer. Amber Jade Coral Mouse, you have to see this. Follow me. Come on, let's go. Okay, oh, <laughs> hey, rabbit. Look under here. What am I missing? What am I missing? I'm so <laughs> glad to see you. Wow, Pearl. You taught the tadpoles our swim dance. I love that move at the end. Want to try it? Sure. sure. What about me? I'm missing the show. Psst, Rabbit. I've got an idea. Come on, Mouse. So Pearl and her sisters figured out a new way to do the things they do every day. And it worked. Pearl got to stay with her tadpoles. <gasps> Yay! 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 The others had their walk with me as their leader. Mouse, come on! 
Me? They want me? We are the Gibble Goose Girls. Coral, Amber, Jade, and Pearl. That's not all. There's one more. One, two, three, four. Five! <laughs> oh, hi. Have you ever seen someone you'd really like to make friends with? but you weren't sure just how to do it? Edwina had the same problem only a little while ago. She was having her lunch in the meadow when... Mm -mm. Huh? Ooh, who's that? A yellow bird. What's he doing here? More yellow birds! They're not from around here. I better welcome them. <gasps> mm! <gasps> Hello! Come a long way? Like to be friends? Hmm. They don't seem to understand me. What should I do? I know. I'll speak in songbirdish. I can do that. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I didn't mean whatever I just said. Got it. I'll pretend to be a bird. And then I'll sound like a bird. Edwina, are you okay? Do you have something caught in your throat? Or your trunk? Or both? Uh, nothing wrong with me. Just singing like a bird. Or, or trying to. Oh. If you want to sing like a bird, you could take lessons from the birds you know best. The Gibble Goose Girls. Yeah, good idea. Oh, we'd love to teach you. The way to sound like one of us is to Twitter and honk. Twitter and honk. Okay, Edwina, let's hear you Twitter. <gasps> And honk. Oh, okay. <gasps> ah! Um, that was pretty good, Edwina. Try it again. <gasps> That's it. Now try. And then. Your honk was very good, but your Twitter needs work. Try doing this. From here in the throat, but with a little tongue flick here, and take a deep breath just before you. Great Twitters. But now that I think of it, I don't need to sound like a goose. Oh? Nope. I need to sound like the birds I saw today. Oh. What did they look like? Small and yellow, and they sounded like music. Ah, they were songbirds. That's totally different. We honk and Twitter. Songbirds warble. I've never warbled before. We'll teach you. Breathe in. Beak just so. Fly push you. Stretch your neck. Now you try. <gasps> oh. Uh. Maybe try again? But different? Ah! Ah! Oh, dear. Don't worry. It takes a while to learn how to warble. Besides, you're an elephant, Edwina. Why do you want to sing like a songbird anyway? Because I want to make friends with the new yellow birds. I tried talking to them, but they didn't understand. 
Oh. That's a very interesting problem. How can you make friends... ...with someone new? Especially if you can't honk Twitter or Warble. How did you two become friends? It was great. One afternoon... It was morning. Rabbit huh? was at the top of a hill. Wasn't I at the bottom? No, you were at the top because you rolled down the hill and bumped into me. Oh, <laughs> right. I rolled down the hill... <laughs> and bonk! Bumped into me. I asked, why are you rolling down the hill? And I said, for fun. And you said... I didn't know you could roll for fun, so you showed me. Watch. And I rolled <laughs> on the ground. Then you tried. And I just went... Flop. So you showed me... How to tuck and roll like this. <laughs> <laughs> So I did, and it worked. So we went to the top of the hill. You rolled down first. <laughs> then you went. <laughs> and I shouted, yay, carrotastic. <laughs> and we've been best friends ever since. Wow. Great story. Maybe you could ask the yellow birds to roll down the hill with you. Good idea. But I need more ideas, too, in case they aren't rolling birds. Time for a hop think. You want to make friends, but you can't talk to the birds. Can't warble either. But you want to show them that you want to be friends. Well, we know how Mouse and I made friends with each other. Maybe we should ask our friends how they try to make friends. How would you girls make a new friend? Like this. <laughs> we help our new friend build a nest. We get them lots of twigs and moss. Moss is very important. And show them how to put down the moss, then the twigs. Twigs, then moss is better. No, 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 no. Twigs and moss. Until, Until it was just, just right. right. Ta da! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Hi, guys! Hey, Thunder. Hi, Hazel. How do you guys make new friends? How would I make a new friend? Uh, got it. I teach them how to do the thumpa thumpa dance. <laughs> thumpa 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 thumpa. I give them a nice big glop of acorn mash with honey. Who could say no to that? Great ideas. Thanks. Off to try to make friends in new ways. Edwina's got four really good ways to try to make friends with the songbirds without speaking their language. Rolling down the hill, making a nest, doing the thumpa thumpa dance, and sharing some tasty acorn mash. One of them will work, I'm sure. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Tuck and roll! Whoa! Maybe I'll try something else. Here I go! <laughs> thumpa, thumpa, thumpa! Thumpa, thumpa, thumpa! There! A very nice nest. Want to try it? Oh, it's very cozy! Watch! <laughs> <laughs> what? Never seen an elephant in a nest before? Uh -oh. Acorn mash with honey. Yummy. Try it. Very yummy. Here, watch. Yummy and Ooh, gooey. Oh, I better use my trunk. <laughs> Ooh, sticky. You like the water? Of course you do. Birds love a nice bath. Ready? Edwina. <laughs> 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 
Nina learned to keep trying when she wanted to make new friends. Even when it didn't go so well at first, she tried lots of different things, asked her friends for ideas, and it finally worked. So even though she didn't speak the bird's language, she discovered they liked the same thing she did, playing in the water. It's not always easy to make new friends, but when it works, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>